that means we're expecting some kind of breakout, whether it's to the upside, okay, or to the downside. I'm expecting a breakout. Bear gang till I die, ho. Swooped up the homies and we about to start a side show. What is a candle? So a candle is basically, depending on the time frame, okay, whether it is a red candle, or a green candle, okay? A candle basically represents within the time frame that you choose, whether it is a one minute, a 30 minute, a five minute, one hour. Doesn't really matter. But what it signifies is at the beginning of that time frame, let's say you're on a five minute candle. In that five minutes, if it is a red candle, it tells you at the beginning of that five minutes, this was the price of the stock. And at the end of the five minutes, this is what the price was of the stock. And it went lower. That's why it's red. You will see wicks that signify how high and low the actual trading went. So during that five minutes, we saw it trade as low as here and as high as here, but it ended up being a price at the end of that five minutes here. Okay? The same thing happens on a green candle, just the inverse. At the bottom of the candle is where the beginning of that one or five minute or hour, the price of the stock began. Okay? This is where it ended. This was the lowest and the highest that the ask bid, the trading actually went. So that is how you read a candle. All right. Volume, on the other hand, would represent how many shares were traded. You could have crazy amounts of, 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 of movement here, but a very low amount of shares traded. And that's why when we say there's low volume, it's not as important because you might have a huge candle with low volume. It just means somebody sold really low and somebody sold really high and it, it moved out. The, the lower the volume, sometimes the more that candle will move outside of the end of the day. That's why when you hear me say, I'm waiting for consolidation on good volume, it means I want to see not big candles, but a tight grouping of candles. Okay? So that means if I have a, a tight grouping and a lot of volume, okay, what that means is, is that I have... Okay, or I'm seeing a lot of shares being traded at a very tight, tight amount or very, very tight ask bid spread, which means there's a lot of interest in this, right? I mean, I got a lot of people trying to buy and buy and sell, buy, sell, buy, sell real quick. It's real tight. That means there's a lot of interest, which means if there's a lot of interest based on the volume and that, 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 that the, the ask bid is very tight, that means we're expecting some kind of breakout, whether it's to the upside, okay? or to the downside, I'm expecting a breakout. It's kind of like winding up a ball, you know what I mean? Like you, you just, you put a bunch of rubber bands in a ball, 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 and then eventually there's too much, like putting them around a, a watermelon or something, right? You put more and more and more, eventually it's gonna bust. Either the, either the, either the, either the rubber bands are gonna bust and it goes down, or the watermelon busts and that pressure breaks. But one way or another, that pressure has to be released. 